Hey there, it's Brittany and I am back with the Softflex Mystery Design Kit. Um, this kit is the Make-A-Wish Design Challenge Kit. So I haven't had a chance to pop in and look at it yet. Um, it might have already been unboxed. Yeah, I think it was already revealed, but I haven't seen it yet. So it's super cute. It's like in this little tissue paper. I love these little rainbow arches on that sticker. Ooh, this looks like fun. Oh my gosh, is that Green Girl Studios? <gasps> my goodness, those are wonderful. All right. Tucson is fast approaching, and that's something I want to get when I'm down there. All right, so we have um, dark blue lapis color, the Softflex beading wire. It is gorgeous. That is such a pretty cool blue. I don't think I have the lapis. I had one that was similar to this, but not exactly that color. You know I love lapis anyway, so that's going to be really fun. We have Make-A-Wish um, bead mix from Jesse James Beads. Let's see what's in here. We've got a bunch of little crystals. Very nice. A big boho. Beautiful. Nice lapis color. Um, some rings that are also beads. Very cool. I love that organic shape. I'm using that shape like more organic shapes uh, in my Palmer clay lately. Um, we've got two table cut glass in like that capri blue. Ooh, look at these little... <gasps> Oh my gosh, when they flipped over, that purple and the blue is so beautiful. I don't know if you can see much of the purple in the video, but so gorgeous. We've got some little um, chandeliers, little tiny baby ones. Those are cute. Um, some uh, silver spacers. Oh, another chandelier. Oh, so we have four of the chandeliers. That's pretty cool. Um, some little sa spacer saucers, some tiny little tassels, some larger white AB crystals. Oh, these are cool. There's a blue one and a clear one. They're like pressed glass. I don't think they're check. I mean, I guess they could be, but they just, I don't, I don't think they are, but they're really cute. I haven't seen a flower that looked like that before. And then these are check glass. Um, oh, two more hearts. They're so pretty. They're so cute. Um, and then we have some crystal rondelle, or no, crystal ball spacers. Some little daisy spacers. Those are cute. Um, some uh, Shambhala beads, like Pandora style. Some more faceted glass. And some, oh, some little flowers. I'm loving like, the shapes in this box. This is fun. And then two ceramic beads. Those are yummy. They look like little blue M&Ms. So I think, I think that's a really cool mix from Jesse James Beads. Um, oh my goodness. The beads that are in here are gorgeous. Okay, so we have some fire polish beads with half silver and like half blue purple. They are adorable. I love these, they're gorgeous. When, this mix is really nice, perfect for winter. Oh, some clear AB flowers. Those are beautiful. Check glass. Um, some check glass stars. Half. Oh no, these are full AB on both sides. We've got some cool silver daggers. Oh, I'm thinking like a lot can be done with this mix. This box. Like ne I've seen necklaces. I see earrings. And then, oh my goodness, look at these. These are beautiful. They're um, check glass table cut with Picasso on the side. They're huge. They're gorgeous. I love those. Those should be a focal. And then we have some um, of the best crimp tubes from Softflex. And then let's see what's in this baggie. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is from King Girl Studios. And then there's um, an etched... Uh, or <clears throat> engraved 
saying that says 1000 wishes and we've got a little fairy queen or princess or something on the front this is so cool this is worth price of admission because i love green girl studio stuff we've got their nice ear wires and a clasp wow that's a, a really good box thank you softflex i will leave a link below to their website um this design challenge kit retails for $33.95 so um, it has everything in it that you need to make a few projects um, minus the tools and um, they softflex has a bunch of lives all the time if you're not already part of their facebook group you should check that out um, like i said i'll leave a link to softflex.com below let me know what your favorite part was my favorite part were these two absolutely gorgeous and i actually feel like it's just just make a necklace with these and some spacers. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to make something. Maybe we'll make it. Maybe I'll, I'll just, let me, I'm going to look, I'm going to put these aside for a minute and I'll come back and we'll make something during this video. <laughs> okay. It's been a very long time since I filled that unboxing. Just haven't had a chance to come back to this mix. Um, this box, but I love it so much and I wanted to make sure that I posted the video and got a tutorial in with it. Um, I really just love these um, cut, uh, these table cut Picasso check glass beads and this beautiful uh, Green Girl Studios um, pendant. Sorry for the dog barking in the background. It won't stop. It's not my dog. <laughs> um, and then I got these out of my um, my uh, stash I have these from the kit the these I think I don't know if I'll use these I don't know that I'm gonna use everything in this kit I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab some stuff from my stash but I really loved I was kind of obsessed with using these as um, with uh, separated by the um, seed beads but problem I, I'm ha thinking is there are only five of them and I want it at least six because I wanted it to be symmetrical but maybe I'll just use four um, and put one on a bracelet so I wanted to have these kind of lead down to that pendant and be separated by these seed beads if I just want to do one or if I want to do multiple because they're kind of big I wanted smaller but I'm going to look for some coordinating beads in my Okay, stash. I know, I think I already said this, but I know I'm not sticking to just the beads in the kit, but I want a certain look for this, and that's not going to happen with just those beads. So I have these melons. They're exactly the same color. I don't know if that's what I want yet. Um, I got out some. These are from Anne-Marie. Some more table cut. I like those. Um, and then I got out these. These are all checked, by the way. So, oh yeah, that's the exact same match. So these two so far are the exact same match. Um, these are just cobalt. I don't think that that's going to... Yeah, it's not quite the blue I'm looking for. Uh, these are from Anne Marie. I was thinking for a bracelet, but now that I'm looking at it, it's their see-through. Oh, they're still the same blue, though. So that's a possibility. I was thinking maybe I can just use this for the bracelet. Um, I have, these are again more see-through. These are horse eye shape from Anne-Marie. That's pretty much the same color. And surprise, surprise from Anne-Marie. <laughs> um, these are very similar. However, they are transparent, but I really like that. That kind of gives it the same vibe. And I wanted to continue that vibe going up the sides, so we'll do that. And maybe here. No, I like the two big ones next to each other, so we'll just put those possibly up there, separated by the seed beads I chose. I also brought out all these, but they're not the same color now that I'm looking at them. 
and then these which had some white but I don't think that's the look I'm going for uh, this actually came from Softflex in a past kit and I can't remember if it's Tierra cast or if it's Green Girl Studios I, th I think it's Green Girl Studios now that I'm thinking about it but I don't know I can't remember but I thought maybe I could use that on the bracelet or I have this it's from Green Girl Studios uh, if I wanted to do um, a button closure I think that really matches I think we'll we'll go with that and then I got this out it's Tierra cast but it's not the same color family although it's the same feel with the face and the leaf but it's not the same color of silver so I think I'm gonna stick with the pewter color and go with this butterfly all right but that's neither here nor there right now um let's see I think we're gonna go real simple on this and I'm gonna grab some chain for the back and then we're gonna string. Okay, so I've kind of waffled between doing one or two seed beads or even three between each bead and I settled on doing two. Um, I think it gave it um, a good amount of space between each bead so that you can see each as its own separate piece and it doesn't um, kind of just meld into the next bead. Three was a bit too much. So I'll show you what these look like in just a moment. I did um, question if I wanted two beads between each of the bigger beads or just one, but I did settle on two because I'm gonna have two between the bigger beads and the pendant and I didn't want it to look wonky. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. That's what that part looks like. So it, it looks a little weird against a blue background at the moment, but I'm gonna go ahead and bead this side and um, then I'll show you how to attach to the chain. Okay, I realized part of my video got cut off, but I'm using the Softflex Dark Blue Lapis uh, beading wire from the kit. It's so gorgeous, matches perfectly with these beads. And then I ended up choosing some of this chain from Lori Matson. It's the perfect color combo. It's chunky, it's just what I'm looking for. And I'm also gonna make a coordinating bracelet um, with the chain so I can wear it with this and whatever other bracelet we make. Um, so I slipped on all the, the beads to the, the cord or the wire. I also chose two um, soft flex crimp beads in the gunmetal color uh, because the silver, their silver was a little bright for this project. I'm gonna use it again with some of the other things we got in that kit. Uh, I started storing mine in this little plastic thing from the Dollar Tree um, because it's easier for me to see all of the different colors and work the baggies for these. Um, and I keep them all in the same spot with my um, soft like speeding wire. I'm gonna go ahead and thread on um, a crimp bead, grab my crimping pliers. Um, and then I, I need to decide how long I want this necklace. I don't really want it to be too long. Okay, so typically I tell you don't open your chain, your links, your ear wires, or your jump rings by pulling things apart. This is a very heavy duty chain and it was like impossible with my jewelry making pliers to open it up like that. So I did open it like this with my pliers to get it to come off the spool. The other thing I'm noticing is there's a prominent gap between the two links and this beading wire would fall through that if I just beaded right on to um, right on to the link. So I'm trying to squish it, but it's just not working. Uh, I think what I can do is see if I have um, a jump ring that won't fit through there, or um, a soldered ring, or um, some wire. Uh, see, I found a soldered ring that is okay, but it slips right through there. Um, I'm gonna work on this and see if I can get it to either close up or if I can find something that'll work. Um, I'll be back. Okay, so I tried several things. These little, which I usually don't like doing, wire guardians didn't fit around my large chain. Um, I just didn't like the look of this chain to attach the other chain, but then I I also had grabbed some Rolo chain and it's not the look that I wanted on this necklace, but I grabbed 
two of the links off of it. They're soldered, so I cut two apart so I can get to these two. And they work. They work perfectly. What I'm going to do is go ahead and open this back up. I just could not get it closed. Every time I squished it even more, the gap got bigger. <laughs> I'm like, what's going on here? So I'm going to open that up um, and squish. That didn't work. On um, my little link. I don't know if that's big enough. I'm using my old, old tools for this. I don't want to damage my nice tools because this is such heavy duty chain. I'm going to squeeze that back together as much as possible. And that won't, I don't, I don't think that's big enough for this link to come back through. If it does, it'll, I'll fix it later. So I'm going to do the exact same thing on this side. And then what I'll do at the back when I'm ready is open up a link to put on my um, clasp. Whoop. See, like it just doesn't, it's very rough hewn and I love that, but it's not conducive <laughs> to my design with smaller um, attachments. So. There we go. I think that might fall out of there, but we're okay for now. Um, I'm going to grab my Softflex crimp. I don't know where the other one, oh, it's on there. And put it through my ring, back through my Softflex crimp. We just have to be problem solvers, right? I'm sure I can plan this out before the video, but I, that's one of my favorite things is designing on the fly. And you totally get it if that's not your style. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take my crimping pliers and I'm gonna flip that the other way. Settle that crimp into the first notch, the largest notch in the, the crimping pliers, and squish. So we've created an elbow shape. Turn it 90 degrees, squish again, and squish again. There we go. I'm going to slide everything down, and I'm going to get that in there. So um, some people don't like to have a tail because reasons, I guess, but I like it in case I mess up and I have to um, crack off a crimp. I don't have to restring everything until, uh, and then I cut it off later when, if needed. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do, repeat the exact same thing on the other side. All the beads are where they need to be, but not too tight and not in a straight line. So we're not in a straight line. We're not in danger of it not laying correctly. I'm just making sure there aren't any noticeable gaps. There may be gaps, but noticeable is the word that I'm looking for there. Um, in our chain, or I'm sorry, our beading, and then this is this is too tight on this ring because it's this it's not flowing like the other one did. So I'm gonna loosen that up a little bit, scooch it back up. Sorry about the dog. I swear. I, I <laughs> can't do anything about it. Um, okay. And I'm just looking at my other side to make sure that it's not too small or too big compared to that side. It is a little bigger than the other side was. Just make sure you take your time. If you're in a rush, maybe do a different project. You just want to make sure that it will, you're not dissatisfied with it once you're, once the project is complete, because I can't tell you how many times that's happened to me. You want to make sure you love your project at the end. There we go. Squish. 90 degrees. Squish. Oh no, I flattened it. Oh my goodness. Let's try that again. Okay. Okay, we've got our elbow shape. It wasn't completely 90 degrees, so that's why it flattened and uh, wasn't right. Okay. 
There we go. There we go. Just gotta be careful. I'm gonna snip here. I need new blonde, new nippers. Hopefully soon. And then um, here's my beautiful necklace. I really I need to be careful here because it seems like this is wanting to come out. So I'm gonna try and turn around my link to prevent that. But I am super in love with this and it came out exactly like I wanted. Do I want a necklace that has all of these all the way up? Yes, absolutely. But I think coordinating it with these other check glass beads that have the same finish and this really rustic chain to match the pendant really does it for me. So I'm gonna put a clasp on and then we'll move on to the bracelet. All right, for the necklace, I found this baggie of um, clasps from Tawana and I am gonna go ahead and use this swan clasp or goose or whatever it is. So cute. Um, it does not, it, it just is reminiscent from of how whimsical this pendant is. Um, it doesn't fit around one of these links, which is no problem because what we'll do is find the right hand side. So this is the left. I'm gonna go ahead and slip on my little link. Close that up. have to be careful with this necklace because um, otherwise I don't know what I'm gonna do if I miss uh, if I misplace it or it falls off because of one of these links but I think we'll be good um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab the other side because this connection point is so large I'm just gonna slide it right on to the chain close that up that's not coming off we have such a beautiful and fun and whimsical piece of jewelry. I'm gonna try and wear this in Tucson. And it wouldn't have been possible without this beautiful kit from um, Softlex and uh, the gorgeous beads that inspired the rest of the, the look. Um, all right, so for the bracelet that's gonna match, I'm actually probably gonna make two bracelets. Uh, I'm gonna use more chain. And then I found this beautiful clasp from Beauty and the Bead Shop. Isn't that gorgeous? It's a micro pave clasp. It's um, in, uh, not antique brass, it's uh, gunmetal. It's gorgeous. I've been waiting for the perfect thing to use it with. And we I have determined it will be this project. <laughs> um, I don't know that I need to use the little link with this because this will fit around my chain. Um, Oh, then maybe I do need to use it because that was a little clunky. I, I'm not sure though. Uh, and it looks like we will fit, this will fit through um, my connection point here. I have an extra link that, oh no, that's not gonna fit. It's a little too big. This chain, it's beautiful, but she's trying me today. Good thing is I have some, some jump rings out. love that. I want this to be loose. Um, typically I don't like my bracelets traveling up and down my arm, but I don't really want skin tight chain on. So I did make it a little bit lo more loose than I'm uh, be prone to making it normally.
Let's see if I can find a smaller jump ring. Yeah, that jump ring's too small, I think. Yeah, you always have to try it out because it fit, but then it just doesn't look right. Uh, let me just make sure. Yeah, it's... Well, you know what I think? Let me try one thing before I move to a different jump ring. There we go. I, I had connected it so it was inside, um, and now it's not. I'm just going to even that up a little bit. There we go. Perfect, perfect. And I can add on a charm if I like, but I really just love that chain with that beautiful sparkly um, clasp. I know some of you might be confused but uh with how does that clasp match the the look of the the necklace it might not but i really wanted to use this clasp because i love it and i love how it looks with this chain so here we go okay i can't find any of my bracelet helpers anywhere i have three of them somewhere in this house and they're probably all hiding together way away from me for some reason so um here's my bracelet i love it maybe even add one more link because it's not tight but I, I wanted it to kind of move around a little bit. Love the um, clasp, and I think I'll add a charm eventually to it, or a pearl or something. I just haven't decided. Oh, did I want to add the extra one of these? No, because I want to be able to wear this with um, by itself and not be blue. So I think eventually I'll add something that's a little bit more neutral than this bright blue, but we're going to make a bracelet that'll actually um, just coordinate with the, the necklace as well. I love this. This is so cool. I'm going to get more of these when I'm in Tucson and create some more chain bracelets. All right, my phone died. That's the first time that's ever happened to me <laughs> while I've been filming. It's been another couple, couple days later because I haven't been able to get back to this project. This is going up so late, I apologize, but I'm so excited about it that it makes up for it. Um, I decided I want to do the bracelet in this kind of formation with these other table cut beads around the large one. We're going to put the um, little butterfly on one end and then we'll do um, a loop out of the seed beads and then obviously I'll put some seed beads in the middle. So I'm gonna grab my um, Softflex wire and I'm gonna grab my Softflex crimps. I feel like I kinda go in spurts with the style of bracelet I'll do. I'll do a bunch of this style and then I'll do a bunch of knotted ones and I haven't done a stretchy in a long time that I can remember, so. Maybe we'll go back to those in a while. Man, I can't wait till this house sells. I am very sick of cleaning it every single day, top to bottom. It is rough. <laughs> I mean, that means that I'm getting a lot of showings, but um, I, I just typically don't clean the floors, the counters, the everything every single day if the house isn't on the market. So that on top of work um it's end of you know it's beginning of year but it's end of 2020 year two year stuff like performance evaluations and writing all those and it's been it's been a very busy busy time but thankfully tomorrow i am on vacation as of 2 p.m and then i'm going to tucson on saturday all right so i am gonna go ahead and crimp and then i'm gonna turn it 92 degrees not 92 degrees, 90 degrees. And I am going to squish again, but I'm gonna go up, see, I'm gonna go up in the pliers to a smaller space. There we go. And then I'll cut it off my spool. Oh, I need new. Butters. Okay, 
I know I say that a lot. They're coming, I, I bet you. I just need to get it done. All right, I'm going to slide on a couple seed beads. And I think I'm just going to do one seed bead spacers on this one because um, it's smaller and I don't need to take up as much real estate. If they were smaller seed beads, I would probably do two. Oh, I didn't really think that out. I probably am going to need more than three on one side. Um, if it ends up being too long, I'll just take off some beads. I think it will be, but we'll see. You never know. Okay, so apparently I'll have one bead left over. I'll use that on something else. And then what I'm going to do here is um, put on my crimp. Um, actually, I think I'm going to put on a seed bead, and then I'm going to put on a crimp. And then I'm going to put on several seed beads. What I'm gonna do here is um, take the end of my wire and come back down through this crimp tube and this seed bead, and then I'm gonna pull this taut. Um, not in a straight line like that because then it won't drape well, but I'll have my bracelet going like that. And I'm just pulling it tight once it's in that formation, moving my beads down. Trying to get my seed bead up against my check glass bead as close as possible anyway. There might be some wiggle room, but we'll, we do what we can. <laughs> and then, I don't know, you know what, I don't really like how that seed bead looks next to this, the crimp. I think it looks a little disjointed, so I'm going to take that off. I might have to just put a crimp cover on top of that because I still don't love how it looks, but we're, I like it better than it looked before. Um, I'm going to go ahead and crimp this, pulling it tight. And turning 90 degrees, making sure not to get my seed beads in there because they will crunch. Trim that off and then I'm gonna find a crimp cover because I really don't like how that looks. <clears throat> we have these, that, that might work. No idea at this point where these came from. Right now, I always make sure it's wide open by inserting my pliers into the bead cover and then pulling the bead cover apart by opening up the pliers. And then I hold it like that, slip it over my crimp and squish. Now, gotta be careful that you get it on your crimp before you squish, but um, this one is just the probably r the right diameter to take up some of that slack from the wire so there we go just close it around it looks so much better i know nobody's gonna be looking at that on my wrist but if you're selling a bracelet these add really nice finishing touches so your knots aren't showing or your wires, uh, wire connections aren't showing. I could put another one right here, but that you're literally never going to see that, and it's going to tighten my bracelet more. So this is so cute. 
I love it. I know the only <laughs> things from the box are, is this, the only thing from the box is this, but it still super coordinates with the rest of the box that I still have left and I can build more pieces with it. Plus this will go with a lot of the lapis stuff I made last year. So this is what it looks like on, there's the butterfly part. And then we have this part. This is what it looks like on with the chain bracelet. Looks so cool. Sorry, I'm gonna back out. I love those two together. And then here it is with our showstopping necklace. Can't wait to wear these this all together. So thank you to Softflex. Thank you to you for watching. <laughs> um, and uh, stay tuned for Goldie. She's super duper cute. I hope you have a good day. Bye bye.